Okay, so hey guys, it's Elizabeth. I won't be here long. I just wanted to pop in and talk a little bit about pricing and blockages uh, related to pricing your business and your services. And this is for really kind of like the light worker, entrepreneur, your healer, your coach, anyone who actually um, does service-based um, practices and you have to price your, your items. So if you know me, you know I am not a big fan of the uh, $25 tarot card readings, right? There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes beyond that. But aside from that, you know, there's there's the um, money belief, there is spiritual beliefs that go behind that, there's parental beliefs, there's religious beliefs, there's cultural beliefs in regards to pricing for spiritual services. However, that being said, um, there's also another element that people don't really talk about, and that is the exchange of energy. And we do actually talk a little bit about that. If you're in spiritual circles, you talk about that too. But when we price our services and our products, we're always looking at the number of what things are going to cost. This is going to cost me blah, 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 number, right? And every time we look at the number of what we want to charge in regards to our services, that's where people get tripped up. It's the number. And the reason is, is because we have an attachment to what we think particular numbers mean. And what I mean by that is certain numbers mean expensive to you or to some other person, whereas other numbers or the same number doesn't have that same type of um, trigger, trigger point, right? So whenever you hit a number, you're doing two things. Number one, it's like, okay, let's say we look at the $25 tarot card reading, right? Is that your number trigger or is that a client number trigger? Are you using the $25 because that is what you think people will buy? Is that what you think people will pay you? Is that your trigger in regards to $25 is a lot for what I do? Is the $25 a trigger because that's as much as you would pay for that type of service? You have to look at what all of the stories are when it comes into um, putting numbers on your items and on your services. So what we've come to conclude is we don't use that mentality or that way of pricing. So when we look at pricing, we're looking at the container of support that we are offering, right? So we are looking at the amount of energy that's going to be exchanged, the amount of energy I'm going to need to put into that particular container, the amount of time spent one-on-one -on -one versus remote healing, the amount of, of that whole container as a whole, right? The amount of Voxer, the amount of one-to-one, -one, the amount of worksheets, workshops, healing, coaching, whatever it is that you're putting into a container. So to give you an example, you know, we were doing remote healing containers. It was seven days and it was 555. Well, 555 was just the number. Right, But when I felt into the container of how much work it would be to support one person for seven days, 24 hours a day for that entire week, and what was going to transpire into it, and how much access that person was going to have to me from nine to five every single day whenever they needed to kind of tune in and connect in, and what type of work I was going to have to do in the higher dimensions and with the guides and with the ascended masters and God source creator, right? When I look at that energy, then I tune into a number that feels right for that container. And that is how we get the container. So when we set up our first support container, we told you all about it and we posted it and it sold within like one hour. In one hour, we had somebody already in our DMs going, yes, this is what I need right now, okay? So when you look at it from that perspective, you're not looking at all of the stories about the number that is coming up for you, for your client, for whatever other story that you have around money or that number or whether it's expensive or it's not expensive. We're not even considering that. We're bypassing that whole process and we are going straight into what does the energy feel like? How much of my energy 
in that exchange is a good exchange for me. So as you move forward and you think about pricing your services, I'm going to invite you to drop the numbers game entirely. Don't even think about the number. Set up your container. Put everything together as to what it is that you want to create, what it is that it feels like, how much support you want to give, and then think about the energy of exchange that's happening inside that container, and then price it at, to, price it at a point in which it feels good, not engaging the ego around the numbers, not engaging the ego around the story around the numbers. Right? The numbers don't matter. It's the energy of exchange. If you're offering an exchange of energy in a service program or package in which feels good to you and it is high vibe and you feel, well, this is, wow, this is worth like $200 or in my case, this is worth like $550, then that is the sign that is the appropriate energetic exchange for that particular piece, that particular program, that particular service. If you charge less than, right, now you go into a story. If you charge overcharge, there's actually, there's, you know, there is no overcharging. It is what it is, right? But if you charge less than, you have to ask yourself, what is the reason behind my $25 offer? What is it? What story around that number is coming up? What story about myself am I telling? What story about my clients am I telling, right? So think about that the next time you kind of go in and you want to price your services or your packages. And instead of looking at the numbers, we're going to invite you to look at the energy of exchange and your container and price it from there. If you have any questions, you guys, feel free to ask. I just kind of popped in to let that kind of come through. It's something that came through in one of our uh, client sessions today. She doubled her prices and um, worked out really well for her, so we're very excited about that. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in 2022, we are now taking applications for private mentoring for Expand, our business mindset mastermind, which I love. We might be doing Transcend again. I'm not sure. You can ask me. We'll find out. Um, but other than that, you guys have a fantastic day and feel free to reach out through Messenger. Talk to you soon. Take care.